When I was doing my undergrad degree at the Hart School of Music, my primary teacher told me um, a piece of advice. He said that if you feel with every bone in your body that you are meant to be a musician and you can't imagine anything else, go for it. And if you feel like you may have other interests, there's even a spark of something else that ignites your curiosity, explore that, see what it is. I felt for so long that like being a musician, that was it, that was the calling, that was my primary purpose. I couldn't imagine anything else for myself. You know, it wasn't until 10 years or so into that career where I started to think, well, do I have other interests? Um, what might those be? What might my voice beyond the flute want to say? And that is when I started to explore. When I got to Babson, it was clear to me that I had been an entrepreneur my whole career. I was running the business of myself as a musical entity. I think for me the big thing that the MBA did was that it opened me up to new perspectives. So my initial definition of myself as an artist was as the creator of the art, as a performer and the teacher I wanted to share high level musical performances on stage and work with students to help them discover music. And I've since broadened that definition to think about how I can still be an artist and bring that perspective out into other parts of the world. I think about myself as an artist in an organization as a consultant who can think about the issues in the arts, the big picture questions and inquiries that the field as a whole has to think about. So that for me has changed from being my very specific role to more could I advocate and champion this art form that's so important to me in a different way. You know, even if I'm doing something that has no music around it, I'm still bringing a lot of that perspective to it. And now that I have the business training, I bring that perspective as well to anything.